Hey all over everybody, and welcome back to Fallout 3. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. Glorious, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so we're in the uh, we're in the town of Minefield in the Benson house, and we have I have moved here. So I've cleaned the place up. There's no more dirty books on the bookshelf. We're ready to put all of our little knickknacks and things that we find there. We got some couches to sit on. We've got the washroom. We got a radio and a TV, you guys. Look at that. Oh my god. 24 hour uh, cracked screen <coughs> video playing on YouTube. Got our suitcase at the front. <laughs> got our suitcase at the front door. Got our kitchen. I cleaned everything up. I picked all the random stuff up and moved it out of the way. Did I? Okay, it's empty. Alright. And then there were a couple of uh, dead homies in here. I cleaned up in here as well. This is probably going to end up being Teddy's room once we find too many Teddies to put them in the bedroom. <laughs> so here's our two uh, uh, dead homies. I haven't really thought of names for them yet, but if you guys want to come up with a couple of names for these fellows, so we've got the guy on the left and the guy on the right. And then in the uh, master bedroom here, we can see, oh my god, there's a teddy bear fiasco happening here on the bed. And we got a jumbo teddy. I actually noticed that when, when I was putting them onto the bed, one of these teddies is absolutely gigantic. He's like twice the size of the other one. And this is the dresser uh, that we are storing all of our tasty stuff in, so. I just wanted to let everybody know that we have moved <laughs> to Minefield. And yes, I did find this uh, safe while I was cleaning up this room. Uh, there were just a couple of random things. There was a Chinese pistol, some ammo. Um, nothing nothing really too uh, amazing or anything like that. It was just a couple of random things. So yeah, we live now in the Benson house in Minefield, you guys. <laughs> We moved out of annoying Ian's house. Now, there's one thing, um, I, I, I want my robot companion, and I remember he's down around here somewhere. That's the problem, like, with this game. It's not a, necessarily a problem, because it's, it's actually, in my opinion, the most amazing part of this game is the fact that the map in this game is realistically gigantic, and there's a million places to go in this game. Uh, so to try and find one little robot in in this, I know he's down there somewhere. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a, a bit of a a bit of a journey, but we'll start at um, Megaton. I need to go find him. I can't remember his name. Sergeant. I think that's actually his name. Sergeant. The the robot. I need to find that dude, man, because to have him as a companion, he's he's my favorite, uh, like, ally in this game. Like, you can have a bunch of allies, a bunch of different allies in this game. I just love that robot, dude. Sergeant, too. Yeah. Sergeant, Sergeant R3. I think that's his name, you guys. Oh, I can't wait to hear it. Uh, just haven't found enough mole rats. I just want to see if she has any bullets, which she does. Always in the market. Ooh, two bobby pins as well. Always in the market for uh, bullets. Oh, she has electron bullets for a dollar a piece. I'll just take her basic. Good hunting. Um, one thing about the robot <coughs> is that I know you have to pay for him. We're basically looking for uh, an old guy. Let's just quick travel like that. This will put us right at the front door of Megaton. <coughs> yes, I'm a smarty boy sometimes. So yeah, today we are searching for RL... R RL3, that's his name, you guys! RL3! Yes. Sergeant RL3. <laughs> that's who we're looking for today, you guys. So let's, um... Let's just set our destinator to, like... Cause I know it's down here somewhere, I just don't know exactly where. So 
Oh, it's just... Welcome to Megaton. Enjoy your stay. <clears throat> so let's just set a destinator this way. And, uh, yeah, we'll make our way this way. See what we can find. Hey, you know what? Um, weapons repellent stick. I need to remember to... If we see mole rats, we gotta test the repellent stick on them. Okay, you guys? <clears throat> We've never been up this way. This is the first time we're headed out in this direction, so, I mean, chances are we're gonna find a whole bunch of crazy stuff happening. Oh, there's an enemy. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a rad scorpion. Oh, he definitely sees us. Nice, two hits. Three hits, very good. Nope. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, you don't know me, bro. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Goddamn scorpion. Man, it is, it is pouring outside my house. Like, in real life, it is fucking raining so hard right now, you guys. Like a goddamn monsoon. I have to keep my eyes out. <clears throat> what we're looking for is basically, I know it's like an old man, and he's gonna have a couple of those uh, handy Andy bots with him. And you can buy one off of him. I can't remember how much it is, though. Uh, I really hope we have enough uh, money for it. If we do end up finding the guy. Because that's the problem. I don't know exactly where I'm going. I just know that it's in this general direction. So I remember uh, playing this game a really long time ago and making a mental note of where I was. The problem is I don't remember like exactly where I was just the general sort of area. Like I said, he's he's in this area around here somewhere. Somewhere down here. So, it, it's a bit of a journey. Oh man. Well, there's like a uh, there's like a whole little town over there, you guys. Multiple enemies. Oh, shit. I missed. 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 Damn it. Oh, come on. Stand up. No, 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 no. Assault rifle, please. Oh, my God. Assault rifle, please. <laughs> yeah, bitch. Yeah. Just in case I miss. Oh, that was a hit. Oh, shit, 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 shit. He's hurting me. Let's go and search his friend over here. Don't think I forgot about you over there, my friend, because I am coming back for you. Take that, I'll take that. Oh, 
Come on. Oh my god. Oh, stand up! Oh. I need the repellent stick. Oh. Yeah. oh my god. This is fucking madness. Fucking madness. Who else wants to go? <laughs> Holy crap, you guys. I'm fighting a goddamn army out here. I don't think I didn't see that guy. I'll take that. Right. Oh, he's got a freaking submachine gun, you guys! That's why he was wrecking the crap out of us. Grab them yum yums. Let's start taking some uh, rough armor so when we go home we can stash a lash it. And we can also use these armors to repair other ones as well, so we can make like, uh, we can make a lot of money off of collecting uh, armor. If you just keep using it to, um, uh, like if you just keep using it to, uh, repair until it's like in, you know, perfect condition sort of thing. Let's eat those yum yum deviled eggs that that guy had. Let's continue our way over here to discover a place. Oh man, that was a crazy fight you guys. We just need to discover something over here, and then I can teleport back to the house, rest in the bed, and come right back to where we were. That's what the goal is right now. Inching our way towards getting our ally. Oh no, there's a robot coming, you guys. Oh, okay, it's an enclave, but... Oh my god. Hey, buddy. Yeah, it looks like... We can discover this place right up here, which is going to be a city, obviously. And yeah, sure, we'll come back and check out all these places. Uh, I said it in the first few episodes, this is going to be a long play of this game. Long play. Anybody who's played this game before knows that this game is long. <laughs> but we are doing a long play here on the channel. I don't really want to fall into a place where I can't get back out of. Okay. Oh shit, there's fucking enemies over there. Look, there's a raider standing right there. Oh no. Oh no, there's more people up here. He's up on the roof. Shit, you guys. Well, I say we go to discover the other place that's over here. So that we don't have to fight all these guys because we're, we're pretty injured right now. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Look at that guy right there, you guys. Uh -huh. Alright, maybe the other place to discover is like this big building here or something? Let's go check it out. Let's walk around it. Hopefully, we discover it and then we could head back home real fast. Recover. Come right back. We have to go in this general direction anyways. Oh, we're close to discovering this place. Whatever it is. Pretty large building. I wouldn't mind going in there and <laughs> searching the hell. There we go. Fort Independence, you guys, we found. That dude, he's a friendly. These are friendlies. Keep your head down, idiot. Raider incoming. Whoa, whoa. Please, please. Oh god, these people are wearing fucking power armor, yo. Yeah? Oh no, you don't, sir. Uh, I shall fight against you. I will. Yeah. Thanks for the help. Who, who are you? Defender Anne Marie Morgan with the Outcasts. Damn, man. But all you need to know is that I've got a gun and a low tolerance for screwing around. R Roger that. Who are you people? 
We call ourselves the outcasts, and we collect technology to preserve it from tribals and idiot locals. And before you ask, we were cast out from that company of zeros who call themselves Lion's Brotherhood of Steel. Way we figure it, if traders think we're too harsh at following orders, we're probably doing something right. You collect technology? How do I sign up? We aren't recruiting, kid. Old sap lions might trust walk-ins, but we don't. But if you want to help out, well, we might be able to work out a deal. You bring in technological devices, and we'll pay you a finder's fee based on the device. But Protector Caston would have to okay it first. <coughs> hmm. Hmm. Sounds good, I guess, you know. Okay. But first you'll have <coughs> oh, to talk goodness. to Protector Caston. You can work out the details with him. Back to stare at all at the outcasts. Don't you have something better to do, kid? Damn it. She's so cool, you guys what? Let's go ahead and collect this, uh... Uh... Take it, take it. We'll take all that shit, we'll combine their armor. Yeah. Oops. Uh... That beeping noise. <clears throat> I don't think I want to be fucking with that. <laughs> these these guys will wreck us in like two seconds. I'm Protector Henry Casden, leader of the Outcasts. Oh, okay. This had better be good. Normally, I wouldn't be wasting my time talking to a local. Morgan tells me you can make yourself useful. So, interested in collecting technology for us? I uh, need to know more about the job before deciding. It's simple enough. Bring in technological devices, and we'll pay you for what you find. Big things like power armor or energy weapons are best, but we'll take things like sensor units or spare parts, too. You never know what's important. In return, we'll pay you with your choice of 556 ammo, grenades, stim packs, or right away. I'll bet they're more useful to you out there anyway. Okay. That's what I like. <coughs> I am down. Start immediately. You'll report directly to me. I'll take in your gear and dole out your pay. Now get cracking. Uh, I wonder if I have anything right now. I've got some technology to turn in. Let's see. Uh, what are you looking for again? Power armor, energy weapons, energy all sorts of all the general sensory units, spare parts, beep, bop, boop, bop, beep, okay. That's oh. all for now. Tell me more about the outcasts. We were cast out for our dedication to the Brotherhood's true goals. Lions wanted to play hero to the locals instead of doing his job. We were proud to leave him, so we kept the name <laughs> outcasts and wear it with pride. A big fuck you to the old man. Yep. He may have struck our names from the great codex, but we'll be vindicated in the end, and our names will be restored. Okay, okay. How do you feel about the Brotherhood of Steel? Which one? The original Brotherhood out west, or the shit that Lions turned it into out here? The, what do you mean, the original Brotherhood? <laughs> I mean the Brotherhood from out west, back around California. We knew what we were doing back there. We didn't waste time with delusions of heroism. We were collecting still glowing embers from the ashes of humanity. Before civilization's fire died completely. We didn't worry about saving individual communities. We worried about saving the progress of humanity itself. Okay, okay. How did lions change the Brotherhood? How oh, he used to be as tough as the rest of us. It wasn't so long ago. We fought side by side to scourge the pit. But somewhere he went soft. Stopped looking at the big picture started trying to save every tribal and illiterate community he found. We had us helping those savages instead of recovering tech that could help us all. That's when we objected and became outcasts. Huh. So what's your long-term plan for dealing with the Brotherhood? The Brotherhood came out here to recover <laughs> technology. We are gathering some good information here. Places. If 
lions won't do it, then we will. And when we resume contact with the Western Elders, the Western lions Elders, is going you guys. To this place. Okay. Even if that place is in front of a firing squad. Shit, eh? That's enough. All right then. See you later. I was actually pretty scared when we came around that corner and we saw that chick standing over there. I was like, oh no. She's got freaking power armor, man. Okay, we still need to head in this direction. But we've discovered, yes, yes, yes. We can, uh, uh quickly travel back to my field. <coughs> We're gonna find this robot, you guys, whether it takes, <laughs> no matter how long it takes. And I don't want to just look on Google if you guys are just like, well, I don't need to go, go and get it. I come from a time in gaming when there was no such thing as Google, my friend. I just know it's in that direction. I will find him. I will find him. <laughs> <laughs> you and we'll do a 360 like this in the hallway because Teddy! And we'll sleep in the queen size bed. For a full 10 hours, why not? <coughs> <laughs> oh my god, my voice is dead right now because, like, earlier today, I was like, I went to go take a sip of my coffee and I basically just, like, threw it down my friggin' esophagus. Like, <laughs> oh, dude. I was coughing for, like, friggin' 20 minutes. <laughs> my throat's a little sore, to be honest. It was hardcore, yeah. All right, so now we can teleport here to Ford Independence. We are going to find this robot, you guys. Hopefully in this video. Because we need an ally. And I want an ally that's just like, you know, my homie, you know? Not like somebody else. Like Jericho or something like that. Uh, we need to go this way. I don't know what that beeping is back there. What the fuck is that, yo? Kinda worried. Is that just more brotherhood? It is. Or not brotherhood, but, uh, uh, outcasts. Great, here's some of the local wildlife. Hey, what's up? Damn, yo, look at the robot, yo. <laughs> Oh, there's an enemy up here, you guys. It's a mole rat! We gotta hit it with the stick, you guys. Come here. Come here! Ah! Yeah, that shit killed it in two hits. One hit stunned it, and the next hit destroyed it. Gotta be on the <clears throat> gotta be on the lookout. We must find my bestest robot friend. There's an enemy. Oh, I see it. It's a scorpion. Oh yeah, right in the tail. No, you don't. Come on. And we go and tease you so that you strike and then I'm ah, cut your goddamn face open. Give me that shit. Fallout, yo, this game's so good. Just taking a look, you guys. Alright. Okay. <coughs> oh my god. It's a fucking Yao Guai. 
There's a Yao Gwai right there, you guys. Oh my. That's so bad. Um, I really don't know what to do against that. Um, kind of scared. That thing's probably going to kick our ass. Hold on. I have a plan. I have a plan. Oh my god. Yeah, he doesn't want to play. Come and get it. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah, you guys. Yao Guai meat. Delicious. What a kill that was, you guys. What a kill that was. Yeah, I got you. So uh, Yao Gua is like a friggin' bear mixed with a werewolf, basically. <laughs> That's why I was like, oh no. I'm so glad that I stopped and decided what I should do. That was a nice trick with the landmines, yo. Oh. Some pretty scary stuff, you guys. Mm. Oh, there's a... There's a little house over there or something. Oh, thank uh <clears throat> oh, it's uh Rob Robco. Seems to be like an industrial plant or something. It's an area that we can discover, so we should definitely discover it. So that we can come back here. We've discovered the Robco facility. Huh. Just taking a look around. There's so much to look at in this game, like, holy crap. So good. <clears throat> I wish we had the, uh... I should start keeping the big sniper rifle on us. Oh my god, there he is! Yes, yes! How do you do, sir? Hello, stranger. I'm Tinker Joe, premier supplier we of found robotic it. parts and service throughout the DC wasteland. <clears throat> oh my god, you guys. I'd like to buy a robot. I'm afraid these bots are all spoken for. No, no. I'm just delivering them now. I've got a custom gutsy that isn't spoken for, but... Okay. Well, RL3 yes, is a bit yes, cynical yes. about the company he keeps, and I don't think he likes the look of you. Nothing personal, of course. No. You might be surprised at what you can use to keep a robot working. Oh, well, he's got a, some random stuff. <clears throat> I will take all that, all that scrap metal because we can sell it to the guy at uh, Megaton. He's only got 51 caps, but... Where's that... Uh... Else. Damn it, you guys. Okay. I think I remember what to do. Uh, 
how do I check that? Stats. Uh, okay, good. Protector. We need to be in the middle, you guys. I can't remember what it's called, but we need to be in the middle. Okay, at least we know where this guy is. He's at the Robco facility, you guys. We have found the greatest friggin' companion that you can basically possibly have. Well, in my opinion. Um... I know how to lose a bunch of karma. Like I do, I know how to lose a shit ton of karma if we need to. We just go around stealing everything. Which is something that I actually have not been doing in this game, to be honest. We have been trying to... Kind of, we, we have actually tr been trying to be nice. Oh, this is uh, Lucas Sim's house, the sheriff's house. Oh, yeah, his son is here. Uh, Dad used to say. Okay. We've already talked him all up. Okay, it's stealing in here. Good. <laughs> we just need to start stealing like literally anything that we can get our friggin' hands on. Hidden, okay. Oh, 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 gotta be careful. Yeah, go, 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 go sit down or something. I will go over here. Uh, damn chair in my way. Hidden, 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 hidden. I don't really care what we steal, just as long as we're losing karma. Friday, we could just walk outside and then go back in. I forgot about that trick. <laughs> okay. Hidden. Hidden. We are still hidden. 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 You don't want to just be like da -da 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 because you will get caught. Locker over here. Oh, it's empty. <laughs> well, anyways, thank you guys so much for coming out and watching this episode of Fallout 3. Take, take, take. <laughs> do, <laughs> do me a favor. Maybe hit that like button and uh, maybe even subscribe to the channel if you're feeling down for it, man. Other than that, man, I wish you guys the uh, total. Damn it, we just got caught. No, 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 you're not. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, I think we got out, you guys. I think we got out. Yes! Okay, let's check our karma. <laughs> Damn it, we're still good. We're gonna have to steal a lot, you guys. I have a feeling, because we've been playing really nice for the whole game. Leave me alone! Oh no, he really doesn't like us now. Alright, before the entire city of Megaton attacks us... Let's just leave real quick. Yeah, man, see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.